Now you can hear me. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, another thing to add to the Twitch checklist. Make sure Mike isn't muted. Okay, cool. Um, oh, actually, was that on screen? Maybe. Uh, cool, so let me just check and make sure. So the thing that you didn't hear a second ago is what I want to check is, uh, I want to put a date up here. So I used to broadcast with my full window, um, but I think it's gonna be better for y'all if I'm cropped in on it. Um, so I'm only like I've only got like a quarter of the screen showing right now. But what that means is there's like you know the the menu bar um, way up there, which I'm not gonna try and point to right now. Uh, you can't see it. So like if I'm doing stuff in the in the window in the Whatever, you can't see me clicking on it unless the things come all the way down there. Uh, menu bar? I think that's what they call that. So that also means that you can't see the clock and the date that's up in the upper left corner, upper right corner. So I want to put a, a clock and a date up here. So that's one of the things I'm going to do. And I think I've got that. Nope. This one. Uh, put a date on Launchpad so you can reference some videos. Right, so that's going to be the first. Let's just do that first. Um, the. So this is just my little Twitch idea list. So um, I kind of split it for stuff that I kind of want to do next and then stuff that I might want to do in the future. And like this may bounce around a little bit, but like some of this stuff is also bigger stuff. Um, but it's stuff that I kind of don't want to, like I'm not, this is more of like things that feel good to do like today. And then over time I'll kind of bounce through this stuff and, and see what happens. But, um, but we're gonna do this one first. So I just want to get, and actually maybe over here, um, Actually, let's inspect this element. Does that go all the way across? Yeah, so it's a an H2, so it goes all the way across. And like I could, so I could, I could do this a couple different ways. Like, um, originally I was thinking it would be over here, but like, I don't want to spend that much time working on the CSS to get that stuff solved. And I know people who know CSS could just do that in like a heartbeat. Um, the, I don't know CSS and I kind of don't want to look that up right now because uh, I want to get onto this other stuff. Maybe I'll come back to it, we'll see. Um, but so what I'm going to do is I just want to put a, a date down here um, and I'm going to do it. Uh, well, actually, let's see. So I was just looking at this, insert an element before or after another element. Um, this is just some notes that I had. So like the easiest way, like, um, so STL brings up my, there it is, my little local website, which is just a bunch of PHP pages. Um, and so like, here's that launch pad and like, uh, I'm just doing the P just cause it's there. So. That. So that's not great, but it's there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get the thing to show up first, and then I'll worry about styling it later. Um, so when I was coming up back in my day, uh, uh, the date. Uh, 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 uh the date, right? So I'm just, I'm just flat out stop. Like I'm throwing a script right in the middle and dropping it in there. And like, that's, that gets the last time I looked and it's been a while since I really kind of kicked around on, on JavaScript and dev stuff or whatever. Like that has gotten a lot of like, Oh, don't ever do that. Well, it's like, cause it's I mean, one of the reasons is it's blocking. So it stops the processing of the script or the page. But like, if the only thing you're doing is issuing a document write command, that's gonna happen super duper fast. And like, I'm gonna get yelled at for this, I know. Um, but like, that's super simple to do. Like plain JavaScript, one little piece of line and you're done. Um, and so I'm just, I'm gonna start with that 
because I can actually use this to get the date stuff right. And then from there, I can make the decision if I actually want to go through and do it in like a more proper, like add an element to a page type of way, which I've got, I know I've got some of that stuff. Um, yeah, so plain Java, so like, I like plainjs.com. So most of the time, so I don't really work with uh, framework stuff when I'm doing my own things um, because they're super simple um, and I don't, I just like, I mean, it's like this little page or whatever. And like on my website, there's actually no JavaScript. It's just a bunch of HTML. So the overhead of a framework doesn't get me anything. Um, and like, again, right here, it's like, there's no, like, there's no, I don't really see the downside to it basically. Um, and if somebody has details about why you actually shouldn't do that and they're like, bring it. Like, I'm curious to know, like, I'm not, this is not a, I'm not on a crusade for this. Uh, it's just the way that I happen to work. And like the, I still, I still have a little bit of the mentality of like the old Pearl thing where it's like, there's more than one way to do it. Um, at the same time, I feel like a little, like, because I don't do a whole bunch of JavaScript stuff, I also feel a little bit like, ah, like, am I doing it the right way? Or like, I, I freak out about that a little bit. Um, but then I just kind of go back and like, okay, it's it's just gonna be this code. Why is that buffering? Um, hopefully it's still sending. We'll see what happens. Um, I haven't looked at any of these videos, so hopefully they work. Uh, I probably need to up my bandwidth at some point. Um, but so anyways, we'll start with the date. Um, and so I don't know if I've got date stuff in here or not. JS date, there we go. Vanilla date. There we go. So I've already got notes for how I was doing this stuff. Is that running on your local anyways? Yes, it is running on my local. Um, so I'm just running in MAMP, uh, which may fire up here in a few seconds. Oh, the window's not opening. Um, main window. Yeah, so I'm just running a MAMP server, which that window won't fit down here. Uh, so I, I'm just, there's the local host, which I don't actually use. And then the, the one that I do, is I call it Launchpad. So whenever I make a new tab, it goes into this Launchpad, which is just my little um, batch of links, a couple search forms. One of the things I'm gonna do next is put some JavaScript tools on here to make stuff you know really quick and easy to like sort things. Um, so yeah, there's no, effort there other than just uh, just working on the other one. Now my, my actual site, right, is live. That's uh, hosted on um, uh, Amazon S3 uh, with CloudFront in front of it, which I'll be working on that at some point too, um, not today. Uh, but yeah, so